What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. FantasyTeamAdvisors.com, bringing home the bacon MLB DFS video. It is Saturday. It is September 14th. We've got college football. We've got MLB. We've got MMA today. We've got NASCAR. We've got NFL tomorrow. We're very excited. If you've never been here before, you're in for a treat. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the majority of it, we're going to look at the main slate. We're going to kind of touch on the two early slates, but the majority of people play the main slate. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over those games. We're going to go over our top fives at each position. If you want to see a little bit more, you want to see our cheat sheet, you want to see our optimal lineups, you want to see everything else, go to fantasyteamadvisors.com and you can sign up for FTA+. Plus. It is $10 a week or $30 a month. Or Currently, right now, we have eight coupon codes left. If you email me, dfshelp1 at gmail.com, that's dfshelp, the number one, at gmail.com, we have eight spots left for a yearly pass, normally $200. You can get it for $50 this week and only while supplies last. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely check that out. We also have giveaways every single day. Two giveaways to be exact. The first giveaway, like the video, be a subscriber, and leave a comment on this video. If this video gets at least 50 likes, you have a chance to win a free week of FTA+. 100 likes is a chance at a free month. 150 likes, a chance at a $200 free year. 200 or more likes on this video, a chance at a lifetime pass. And just like in our showdown video that I, I uploaded yesterday, I don't have my regular mic, so this the audio is not what it usually sounds like. So again, I apologize if the audio sounds a little off. It's coming from the mic, uh, the camera the mic on the camera or the webcam instead of the, the blue uh, Yeti mic that I normally use. So again, I apologize. We'll be back to, hopefully be back to our regular programming tomorrow with that mic. On top of that, the second way to win, somewhere in this video, I'm gonna say a keyword, listen for that keyword and type it in, have a chance to win a free week. Now you could win both of them. Uh, Friday's video only had 27 comments, so the chances of you winning are pretty pretty good. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if the YouTube algorithm's no longer giving our videos out there, because we're usually getting 1,000 views and 60 plus uh, comments, but here we are. So we're gonna persevere. At the end of the video, we're gonna give you all of the, or the top five pitchers from Pitches Be Crazy, and we're gonna give you all of the batters that have a 10 out of 10 matchup rating through the early simulations for today. So buckle up, get ready, and let's see who our two winners are or our one winner is if they are lucky enough to win both of them. All right, so we are going to roll this. This is only because we got a minimum of 50 likes. So even if the keyword is in this, we're still gonna re-roll it for the keyword. The person has a chance to win if they still have the keyword in there once we do it again. So John Cook 6160 congratulations. Email me, dfshelp1 at gmail.com, and let me know if you have a username on the website. If you do not, let me know a username and email you would like. We'll get you set up for that free week, which includes a week from today of, we've got MMA today, we've got a week of MLB, we've got NASCAR tomorrow, so technically um, you got that. You've got NFL tomorrow. You got the start of NFL content for next week as well. So we're very excited, uh, and that's what we're going to bring to you guys. So that being said, John Cook, you are the first winner. We are going to re-roll this until we get the keyword that was part of Friday's video. The keyword was Friday the 13th, or some variation of that, and Francois V313, congratulations. Email me with a username and email you would like on the site unless you already have one on the website, and we will get you set up for a free week as well. So congratulations to both of you winners. We're just kind of going to glance over the two early slates. we got the three-game early on DraftKings. You've got the two-game turbo, um, which is er like earlier than that. Uh, Garrett Cole, Michael Walker, Mitch Keller, and Brian Bayo. So we saw that uh, Garrett Cole has been pretty good for himself. Boston's offense is, you know, lackluster a little bit. Uh, if you were to bet, uh, for whatever reason, Rafael Devers absolutely murders, murders um, Cole in his career. And Cole knows it. He even mentioned it the other day. Ra uh, Rafael Devers, 14 hits in 41 at-bats. That's a 342 batting average. Five singles, one double, eight home runs, seven walks, and 15 strikeouts. While he has been struggling, uh, Devers, over 
over one and a half bases would be probably my best bet for the day. So if I had a best bet for the day, it's Rafael Devers over one and a half bases against Garrett Cole in Yankee Stadium. The Yankees are still the Yankees. Brian Bayo, uh, we kind of seen what he's brought to the table. Like decent against Baltimore, bad against the Mets, really good against Toronto. He's just struggled. He's already faced the Yankees twice this year, 9.2 innings, eight runs, seven of them earned, five walks and two home runs. So I would be looking at the Yankees here. I would be looking at Garrett Cole, and I'm probably looking at a little bit of uh, Michael Walker. I don't love this two game early, this two game very early slate, but that is where I'd go in that situation. Uh, with the early slate, you know, you've got some good pitchers. Uh, Patrick Corbin, um, this one's the the enigma I do not understand. He's already faced Miami twice this year, nine runs, six of them earned, 12 Ks. A stretch of three really good games, one against Colorado, one against the Yankees, one against this Miami team, and then he got hit hard by Pittsburgh for seven earned runs. So I don't know what we're getting out of this dude. I don't understand him. Uh, 7,300 is too much for me. It's just too much for me. Um, Sevy against Philly. Um, hasn't faced them this year. Coming off back-to-back -back really good starts. One against Cincy, one against Boston. I don't mind him. Barrios against St. Louis. He has not faced them this year, but he's been doing decent in a row. You see he's had a stretch of six really good games here. I would look at him. Um, Colby Allard for tournaments. I'm okay, but he doesn't have a quality start lately when he's pitched his last X amount of games. And then Kyle Gibson um, has not faced Toronto this year. 420 ERA, back-to-back -back really good starts, one against Seattle, one against the Yankees. So tournament-wise, I don't mind him either. And then that brings us to the main slate, which was what we wanted to talk about. We're going to go over the top five plays at each position, but I'm going to tell you right now, we really like – there's more plays that we like. So on our cheat sheet, which you can find under FTA+, Plus or the under the MLB tab, as long as you see all of that. We have our cheat sheet consists of each position and about six to seven players for cash at each position and six to seven players uh, tournament at each position. Then we get to the outfield and there's about 14. So we have about 28 outfielders that we have on our player pool. So we've narrowed down the hundreds of players into a player pool of probably about 100 players total. No, less than 100 players total. So if you want to check that out, $10 a week, you can check it out. That gets you every sport for a week. The The best way to do it would be the yearly pass for 50 bucks. Again, eight coupon codes left. So the first eight people or the next eight people that email us will have a chance at that. But that being said, let's just take a look position by position, um, player by player. Chris Sale, number one. Now the Dodgers, you know, you never know what you're going to get from the Dodgers. Um, he has not faced them this year. They do hit well, but he's been the best pitcher on the planet this year. So I do have him at number one. Number two is actually Jack Flaherty against Atlanta, only because Atlanta does strike out a ton. So if we look at what Atlanta does, they strike out considerable. And like their offense is good, yes, but they, they also strike out. So that's what I've got number two. Uh, number three, I've actually got Joe Musgrove at San Francisco. I love this matchup for him. I'm able to see what... Um, Dylan Cease was able to do yesterday by getting the dub. I've got him number three. Number four, I've got uh, Logan Gilbert. Just because Texas's offense has not looked as good as we are used to last year. Um, they've just floundered a little bit, and that's kind of where I'm at there. And then just kind of looking at number five, I've got Tobias Myers at Arizona. Now, Arizona hits lefties a little bit better, but I'm looking at Tobias Myers at Arizona. I don't believe he has faced them this year. He has not faced them this year. 293 ERA. When he's pitching on the road, he does have a 276, so it's a little bit better on the road. Fantastic game against Colorado. So I've got Myers wrapping up number five of our pitch. Now, again, if you want to see all of them and how we rank them in order, all of them, they are on our cheat sheet. So moving to the catching position, I don't think it's a surprise, but uh, William Contreras here going up against Brandon Fott. Brandon Fott has struggled this season. He's had some good games, and he struggled. So I've got William Contreras Number one. Number two is Yonder Diaz against Tyler Anderson. Anderson just has not had the stuff for whatever reason. Um, Yonder Diaz, six games, one home run, five RBIs. Ten, he's averaging 10.2 fantasy points per game at 4,800 is, is what we're looking for in a catcher. I love William Contreras more, though. Uh, number three is Will Smith, only because he hits lefties good, well, whatever English we're trying to do. Again, though, you know, it is Chris Sale, so... 
that scares me a little bit. So I don't know how much exposure I'll have to Will Smith, but I'll have some. Number four is Cal Raleigh against Max Scherzer. So Scherzer coming in, and if we look, coming off the IL, um, he's not pitched since July 30th. So he obviously didn't pitch until June, came back, did not do the best. You know, against White Sox, a really good game. But other than that, he hasn't looked very good outside of against Kansas City. Um, I don't like this matchup for him. So I do uh, like Cal Raleigh Big Dumper here uh, to have a decent game here. And again, I don't know how deep Scherzer is going to go in this game. Number five is Shea Langoliers going up against Chris Flexen. What I saw outside of his last start, I think the looking at what Chris Flexen did, I think what I read was something outside of like, let's see. Um, what was it? Yeah, they have lost like 20 straight starts. One, two, three, four, five. Like they, the White Sox have lost a huge amount of starts in a row for him. I don't trust Chris Flexen. I do not trust the uh, Oakland offense. They're bad. Shea Langliers is good. I do like that for number five. So moving to first base, again, obviously, if Otani's on the list, he's number one. But again, if we're doing on FanDuel, he's outfield only. So in this instance, let's put Otani in the outfield. So we're, we're not going to use him as a first baseman today. So we're not going to rank him as first base. In outfield, he's number one in the outfield. But first base, Matt Olson going up against Jack Flaherty. If you think Matt Olson's going to have a good game against Flaherty, I do like him, number one. Number two is Christian Walker going up against Tobias Myers. If you don't think Tobias Myers is going to have a good game, against Arizona. Number three, I do have uh, Togliai going up against Jamison Tyon because this is in Colorado, so I've got him number three. Number four, I do have Freddie Freeman. He hits lefties well. Again, though, do not forget, this is Chris Sale, and he has been the best pitcher in the major leagues this year, so that is one I'm looking at. And I'll round this up with Jake Cronenworth going up against, is it Mason Black? Uh, going up against Black here in San Francisco. So it is a pitcher's park. It is a massive ballpark, but the gaps are huge. So Cronenworth, if he puts it in the gap, could extra get extra base hits easily in this game. Moving to the second base option today, Jose Altuve against Tyler Anderson. I would not be surprised if Jose hits a leadoff home run in this game um, against a soft throwing lefty in Anderson. Number two, I do have Cattell Marte. He is very expensive. But at home, I love what he brings to the table splits-wise. Home games, 13 home runs, 342 batting average uh, compared to 252 on the road. I love that here. He's had great options there. He is expensive, though. He's very, very expensive. Number three is Nico Horner in Colorado. Again, any of these Cubs or uh, Rockies bats are going to be very expensive because they're in Colorado. And that's just the name of the game. So if you can find some value in pitching today, I do like Nico Horner as number three. Number four is actually Marcus Simeon coming down here against Logan Gilbert uh, at, on the road. I do like Marcus Simeon here. And number five, I do have Jonathan India going up against Simeon Woods Richardson at Minnesota. I would like this. I think India would be in the top three if this were in Cincy. But we're on the road here, so I still like this matchup for him in Minnesota. Third base, we've got number one. I love Ryan McMahon. He is very expensive. Going up against Jameson Tyon. Two, I've got Royce Lewis going up against uh, Nick Martinez. Number three, I've got Alex Bregman. Four, Isak Paredes. And number five, I've got Eugenio Suarez going up against Tobias Myers. Then we get to the shortstop position. It's, it's what you expect. Ellie De La Cruz had a massive monster Grand Slam yesterday. Um, 20 fantasy points there. If he gets on, he gets on, and he has a really good chance of stealing bases. So I've got him number one. Uh, number two, I've got Willie Adamas going up against Brandon Fott. I just do not trust Brandon Fott in this game, so I do like a Milwaukee stack with Adamas, number two. Number three is Tovar, but again, that is in Colorado, so he's a very, very expensive bat there. Number four, Zach Nito. Going up against Verlander, Verlander was absolutely shelled. It, it just looks like it's probably time for him to retire at the end of the year. Does not have it. Um, I've got, and Nito's got, I think double-digit home runs in this game, so or in this season, so that is definitely what I'm looking at. 
And speaking of our sponsors of these videos, outlier.bet is there if you want to check them out. You can break down every single game. You can go in, you can look at the bets that... So, for instance, you're looking at Boston at the Yankees. You want to look at the BVP. You want to look at the injuries. You want to look at insights. You want to look at uh, splits. It's all in one game setting right here. On top of that, you can go player props. You can check out, let's say, for instance, Rafael Devers. So, let's look at Rafael Devers to get a hit against Cole. You can see the best odds. But if you want to take a Rafael Devers home run or over under one base, whatever you want to do, Rafael Devers home run, and you can see plus 375 on bet 365. I don't know why uh, those are some great odds. If you think he's going to hit two home runs, the best odds are over on FanDuel Sportsbook at plus 3,000. Obviously, he has not done that in a while. He has struggled, but if he were to do that against anybody, it could be Garrett Cole. So if you want to check out, uh, and what I love is when you click on it, it takes you to your, uh, puts it in your, uh, sports slip and then or your bet slip and then you can go straight out to whatever book you want to go to and check it out you can head over there it'll take you right to your sports book you can enter that bet right there so again outlier.bet is our sponsor thank you so much for sponsoring these videos so that being said outfield number one like i said otani against chris sale again it otani's a really good hitter we know this chris sale has been really good this year i like him in this situation. So I have him number one. Number two, I do have Mookie Betts against a lefty in Chris Sale. I I, I don't mind him whatsoever. Former teammates. Uh, yeah, that's what I like there for former teammates. Number three that I've got going on on this list is Kyle Tucker versus Tyler Anderson. Him, it's basically 3A and 3B. Him and Jordan, they absolutely smash lefties. They've got a great matchup against Anderson. I would not be surprised if they could chase Anderson within two innings of this game. I do not trust Tyler Anderson here at all. Number four, I do have Seiya Suzuki going up against Kyle Freeland. I love Suzuki here against a lefty in Freeland and in Colorado, but again, it is very expensive because that is what we're bringing here with Coors, the Coors effect. And number five, I do have Brent Rooker going up against Chris Flexen at Chicago, Windy City if the wind is blowing out. Love that even more. If you want to see all of the uh, ballpark factors, you want to see the core plays we like, the stacks that we like, uh, some free plays, some bets we're going to put in there for college football as well, in the description down below is the link to our Discord. Check that out. Make sure you get in there. We help each other out. We're trying to build a great community with you guys, and you guys are there for us as well. That being said, <clears throat> those are your top fives. And before we get to looking at the pitches be crazy and all of the batters have a 10 out of 10 matchup rating, the keyword of the day is sleep because I got, I got some sleep last night, so I'm very excited. So keyword of the day, sleep. All right. So that being said, these are all of the pitcher or the batters or the, these are top five pitchers that have the best chances of strikeouts according to statistics. But again, some of these pitchers have struggled. Some are coming off the IL, so that is, you gotta be a little bit wary of this. Number one, Max Scherzer at Seattle because Seattle strikes out the most. Number two, Jamison Tyon at Colorado. <clears throat> Colorado does strike out more on the road. And this is at Coors, so this is a little bit weary, but again, number two. Number three is Garrett Cole. For whatever reason, if he can't get through five innings, that might be a little bit off. Uh, but he's number three because Boston strikes out the third most out of any team. Number four is Chris Flexen at uh, or versus Oakland. But again, the White Sox offense, if they don't get it to him, it could be spell trouble. But Oakland do strike out more on the road than at home. And then number five is Michael Walker at Pittsburgh Pirates in the early window. Now, these are all of the batters that have a 10 out of 10 matchup rating. These can and will change once all of the pitchers are confirmed. The weather kind of gets more into focus and we know what we're working with. But number one is Seiya Suzuki versus Kyle Freeland in Colorado. Number two is Jose Ramirez. Three is Jock Peterson. Four, Kyle Tucker. Five, Lawrence Butler. Six, JJ Blade. Seven, Josh Naylor. Eight, Luis Garcia. Nine, Juan Soto. 10, Matt Theis. 11, Taylor Ward. And number 12 is Jackson Merrill versus Mason Black. Now, stack-wise, 
I do not trust Verlander. I would definitely look at an Angel stack. I think it'll go lower owned today. I do like a Yankee stack against Brian Bayo. I do like a Mil uh, or, or <clears throat> excuse me. I do like a Milwaukee stack going up against Brandon Fott. And I'm kind of looking at a Cleveland stack versus Drew Rasmussen. So those are some of the stacks. Not all of them. They aren't confirmed yet. Once we get all the information, we'll talk about that in the Discord. So definitely get in the Discord. If you have not already checked out the showdown video for Sunday Night Football, we've already broken it down. That is in the... Well, actually, I'm going to link that at the end of this video. It's not in the description. It is linked to our channel. So definitely check that out. Try to break it down. We've even built some lineups for you as well. So broke down statistics, captain spots, the percentages of each position at the captain spot, the percentages of stacks that have taken them down since last year. We've built some lineups for you. So that's what we've got. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Good luck today. And as always, let's bring home some bacon. Peace.